I'm going on a trip with Philippe Toledo, and um, the goal of this trip and project is for me to land like a huge full rotation, pretty much, um, more so than girls have really done in the past. So Felipe is kind of going to come to help me learn how to do them because he does them so well, obviously. And uh, the first step is just to get a board. We're doing specifically airs. Airboard. Airboard. Let's do it. I would go with more concave through the tail, faster, and something that give you the lift. We'll start with something similar to a rookie and then just tweak it from there. 5.8 to me still even now feels like pretty small. So even if we tweak it, I don't think I want to go more than one, two inches at the most. Go a little bit shorter, but a little bit flatter rocker, it'll still feel like your 5.8 rocker. As you get back in, you don't want this to do anything weird. Even if it has too much concave, it might want to lift. I like to keep the rails really soft in the entry, just like butter. It just lands. And predictable. I'm going to take that out and about here back and deepen the hole concave through the tail. Again, that just makes the tail really free when you're trying to actually get up and yeah. get that last little pop. So an extra lift for, you know, just down line speed. It's like if I like bend this into say B, then you get to the top wave and push and then would, the board would want to lay over right. because of the knee. And we don't want that one to just pop and just stick right to your feet. And that's what the deep and concave do. It's going to push right up to get your feet as you ask the way. Beach Grit. This is Chris Cote here from the FDL FCT FRA. That's Friends Don't Let Friends Call Them Full Rotors Association. They're called 540s. Now let's carry on. Yeah, so the first one I think I ever saw was I think Dane does like a big, huge one, and uh, it might have been an A Kai or something like that. As he does, like, just went 110% at this like crazy wedge. Kalani Rob, 1995, Rocky Point, high speed, front side air, tail high, the wind catches his board, spins him around, past 360, whips it around nearly a 540. The first one that we were hyped on, we were freaking out on, was Reynolds' full road alley is that he did in the first chapter. My jaw just dropped and I just went like, is that even real? Is that, is that where we're going? The first person I saw doing 540s regularly, expertly, perfectly, Dane Reynolds. I remember we were watching that and we were freaking the fuck out. We were like, holy shit, like, it was so lofty and he stomps it in the flat. From that moment onwards, it's been something that I've thought about and like, that's kind of where we're going. And that's what's possible next. Dane Reynolds modernized and perfected the 540 as Beach Kit would say, the full rotor. Full rotor sounds like something a plumber does to your mom, by the way. I don't know, I never really tried to like spin all the way around until I, until I started seeing Philippe do them. I really studied the shit out of those ones and I just tried to uh, emulate what he was doing. Well, actually on that trip, that fully inspired me. Um, and I landed my first full rotation alley-oop. I think there was an influence in 540 airs from skating. Vert showed guys doing 540s more. Watch Bucky Lasik. He throws a frontside 540, kind of upside down. And when you haven't seen it done before, it's kind of like you're not quite sure if that's like a safe place to go. At the Quick Pro in New York, I don't know what year it was. I was there. I was blacked out the whole time. Hence the reason I don't drink anymore. But anyway. I remember hearing the air, I was at the bar, my back was turned, I wasn't watching. Then I watched the replay and I thought, by golly, Kelly Slater just did a 540. And his kind of look accidental. He cracked into a super high 
strip your human mindset, I think. But man, he's done a couple of insane. 540s. He did one at Bells, I believe, to uh, take the win over Mick Fanning a few years back as well. But uh, his 540 in New York to me was probably one of the best ones we've seen in competition still. Um, I think I've said what I want to say. Bye. Hey, Lakey, it's John. I hear you're going on to Mexico to try some airs for full rotations. It's kind of funny, but if you were to jump up and do a full spin and land, it's almost exactly like that. It's all about turning your head, looking over your shoulder. I think the best person in surfing is uh, Felipe Toledo. Yeah, that's who I watched to get better at mine. I fell doing a triangle for like two years, probably before I landed one. I feel sorry that they're putting this pressure on you to do a four foot, four rotation air, and if you don't do it, then what happens? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs>
Coach Felipe, <laughs> he's so sweet. He's honestly been really helpful. Um, I think mostly just because he really wants me to achieve it and just get better overall. Just getting our footage side by side on the app and um, watching it in slow-mo and having him really talk me through step by step uh, and getting that visual in my head of what he's doing versus what I'm doing at the exact same time through our maneuver. Uh, so working with his, him has been been awesome. His air is close up. He's got it just on lock. His body mechanics and language is the same on every single one. I've noticed too on the ones that he doesn't land because he's launched a couple of huge ones. He really knows how to fall well. So he kind of knows how to land either more on the tail so it's a softer landing for him or when he needs to bail last second he's, he's able to kind of just barely get away from it. So I, I think he's again just done it so many times that it's routine in his head. Okay, okay, it wasn't a full rotor, a 540, whatever. Hucking a four foot full rotation, as John said, isn't really something you can learn in four days. Even if you do have Philippe Toledo as your personal coach and Simpo getting you so hyped, you feel like you could nearly land a six foot double spin. <laughs> but listen, I got the little mid face bottom turn happening. I finally learned to ignore every instinct in my body and project out instead of upward. And yeah, the grab's still there, but I eventually landed something I'm pretty thrilled with. Like Philippe said, it's a process. And like John John said, it does take years. The thing is, you gotta learn the pieces before you can nail the entire puzzle. I know I need to twist my body more. I know I need to turn my head in the air, but I'm on the road, I'm on my way. Yeah.